everybody, welcome to my channel. I'm Tracy Reed and this is Acrylic Pouring with Friends. I hope you guys are all having a wonderful day. So in today's video, I will be working on a, let's see, eight, 14 by 18 canvas. And I will be working with the DecoArt Enchanted Paints again. I've been using those for a little while now with some amazing results, a couple different techniques, and so today I will be doing a different technique using them. Um, I did a little experiment I'll show you, and it is a <clears throat> excuse me cloud effect pour, but not using white mix. I'm using the um, satin enamel denim dark. Dark denim is what it's called. Now I didn't get, you know, really the clouds that I was looking for, but I love the results. So, um, and this was just from a little cup that I used because I didn't want to use too much paint. Um, so in for today, I'm actually going to use my 10 ounce cloud pour cup. So let me go over the colors really quick. I did already mention the dark denim um, satin enamel. And then I will be using the Enchanted um, Turquoise, Violet, Gold, Blue, and the Magenta. Now in my test that I did, I did not have any Magenta in there. So that's going to be a new addition to this one. And then I've discovered that you need some other paints kind of with it, some regular paints um, to make your lines a little bit more defined. I did another test and it was terrible. <laughs> so I've got, um, I don't know why I'm showing you that, a turquoise and it is the fine touch and then I added some golden um, fluid acrylics turquoise. I love this turquoise if you want to um, just pump up your uh, turquoise a little, take it up a little notch. That's always a great way to do that. And then I've got from Liquitex Basics, I've got uh, Prism Violet and Quinacridone Magenta. All right, so I'm gonna move these out of the way here. There we go. I've got not much room, it seems. I've got stuff everywhere. Now I do have a list also. But if you guys have watched some of my videos in the past, I sometimes forget my order, even though I have a list in front of me. Um, so we're gonna try to go with that. We're gonna, I'm gonna try to stick with it. We'll see. Okay, so I'm going to start, and I've done this in previous Cloud Pour videos. Um, I'm going to put, because if you've not seen before, this is my Cloud Pour cup. If you've not watched my channel, I, I designed this cup specifically for Cloud Pours. So there's two chambers in the front. So you can fill, it's really kind of cool because it's versatile on how much cloud mix you can actually, how much you want to put in. So you can either fill one or both. And what I like to do, it's super, super fun, I get good results, is I'll put half of the cloud mix on one side, another color on the other side, and then cloud mix on top of that. So that's what I'm going to do today. So I'm going to put the cloud mix on the bottom of this side. And I've only got this much, so I'm going to try to even it out as much as I can. See there if I can get it right. Okay, that looks pretty good, I think. Let me add some more. It did thicken up a bit, and I when I mixed this, I did not mix, I didn't add any other paint to it. So all it is, is... Um, the dark denim satin enamel. That's that's it. There's no other um, paint besides the pouring medium. And I think I mixed it like half and half. So so that's that. Okay. So then on the other side, I'm gonna put the uh, turquoise on the bottom of this side. Now this might be a little hard to see because the chamber is kind of is a little small, but you don't want it too big. You don't want it the same size as like a regular split cup. Okay, so I think that looks pretty good as far as I can see because this is, you know, the cup is is almost white too. So, <laughs> all right, so then on top of this cloud mix, I'm going to put the 
mail it. Okay. And then I will put the rest of the cloud mix on this side. All right. So that looks pretty good. And now I'm going to start filling the rest of the cup. And I'm going to start with the turquoise on the bottom. I think that's the order. <laughs> Let me double check that. Yeah, and then I'm gonna put some gold. So I'm just gonna go ahead and fill this cup up. And I'm going to, the way that I did it in my test is I layer um, a regular paint and then I do an enchanted shimmer in between. So hopefully it works for a bigger, a bigger pour. And then here's the blue. These colors are just gorgeous. And if you are new to my channel and you haven't seen any of my other videos, um, I think my last four, I've been using the Enchanted Shimmer. And I've just been getting such amazing results. I used my mini blower a couple times. And then I did this really gorgeous um, swipe. So, and, and they, it, they just turned out amazing. So if you missed those, you can go ahead and um, check those out as well. Um, because, man, I was really, really wowed by, by the swipe especially. All right, so I'm just going to continue to fill my cup. All right. So there we go. I don't know if you guys can see that. Looks really good. Um, okay, guys. <laughs> Here we go.
Hey everybody, here we go with the dried photos and I love, love, love how this turned out. The clouds are just gorgeous, the way that they blended together. Sometimes it looks more white and then other times it looks more turquoise. So I'm super happy with my results. I'm really, really enjoying these Deco Art Enchanted paints. So if you haven't tried them yet, give them a try. Don't forget to use my coupon code in my description. All right, guys, and don't forget to like my video and subscribe to my channel and also share this video if you think someone else may enjoy it. It really helps me out. And also don't forget to check out AcrylicPouringTools.com for all your acrylic pouring tool needs. And I've got a bunch more videos that I know you will enjoy. And I will catch you in the next one.